Candidly, I describe what I've done for 35 years as being in the people business, whether it was chicken or pizza, coffee or donuts. Um, it was to lead an effective organization and create leaders and grow leaders and have leaders prosper. Um, I've been blessed to be at three companies and many worked for me at three different places. Um, and that's why if we ever talk about timeless leadership, it's because the values that you instill with each other as a team last forever. So, um, you know, I think it's founding yourself on the core principle of team, creating the vision and how that vision works. Um, and as a leader, living that vision and um, being accountable for that vision and being visible to that vision. Helping people moderate their thinking to say, yes, I have needs it for right now, but somebody's got to keep the high, their eye on the horizon. And I think for a leader, when you, when you think about our best leaders, it's been the people who have helped find ways to moderate those. But at the end of the day, never let whoever they're leading forget that there is a tomorrow and there is a next month and there's a next year. And figuring out how to do that is, I think, a special thing we've seen in leaders. So um, I've worked for the same organization actually for 31 years. And now that's long job. Yes. <laughs> right. So, um, pardon me if I'm a little biased <laughs> about her clearly doing something right. Yes. To do something right, yes. And so our leadership uh, is very strongly grounded in the mission with everything we do to improve the health of the community and all we do. Um, and we have our core values that are just not just words on a wall. They're part of, they flow through us and they're part of what we do every single day. Respectful compassion, responsible stewardship, uh, passion for excellence. And so all of those things uh, guide what we do and our leaders take that very, very seriously. And I think that having that clear vision is very important and helps everyone that follows to know which way we're going and to align with that and to feel proud and excited about that and to be engaged in the work and inspired. So I think that's what leadership has done. Friday nights are huge nights for us. I'm really excited because today's Friday. And uh, I'm really excited to go in there because that's what I do. I go around and line everybody up and say, hey, what are you going to do to make somebody's evening? People are coming out here for a show. They're coming out here. They could, what is what is making it worth it for them to come out here at a stake here when they can grill at one? What are you going to do this evening? I go through let everyone give an example and have a nice open forum with it. Um, and that's really how I how I like to lead within the business. Well, I would like to say I was like Priscilla and at the same company <laughs> for 31 years. Uh, and you had asked about leadership in your organization. And I would tell you every time I jumped, um, two major jumps were because of a collapse in leadership. And one, you know, a senior level said something to us that was not, was factually incorrect. And uh, I lost it. The leadership sets the culture. And you can tell how people follow it and follow the leader. When I started at Insulet, we had a female CEO. The people that were interviewing talked about her, like they knew her personally. And then some of them did. Everyone in that organization knew and loved her. And when she resigned, the, the Wall Street, every investor would unmute their bike and just show their appreciation. It was unlike any earnings call I had ever listened to. Our poor new CEO trying to backfill that love and support, but you can tell an organization's leadership by the longevity, the turnover, because the moment you lose faith in your leaders, that's when people leave. One of our key um, ideas that we um, just live by is span thread. So we help families purchase real estate. And I think uh, the community worker is very diverse. Um, yeah, I work with a lot of people from all over the world. And we do um, try to help families and whatever they was they I think part of being a leader that remains timeless is knowing when you have outgrown your spot and when it's time to leave it open for someone else to take that spot and go forth and be great. In my case, I always say that I want to be in a room with people that are smarter than me because I want to learn from them. I want to learn from the things they've done well, from the things where they've made mistakes. And I love partnering with people and I love having a mentor so that I can be a better mentor for future generations, whether it's students or whether it's entrepreneurs, myself as an entrepreneur and this first generation college student. You know, I, I actually wonder sometimes if you're the smartest person in the room, are you leading? Exactly, yeah. That means you've outgrown 
by all means that you can just stop listening to family.